name is Penny and today I am bringing to you my review of SimCity. This review is coming out a little late and I do apologise for that. Unfortunately, the very first review that I did film was tragically lost in the hard drive smash that occurred last week. Sorry! SimCity is a game where you play a man to a simulated city, which is fairly obvious considering the name of the game. The original release was back in 1989, and since then they have been releasing the titles fairly periodically. There have been competing titles released along the way, like Cities XL or even the Tropico series, but SimCity has always stood for the last 24 years as the big leader of this kind of city building game. 24 years? My god, SimCity is an old series. It's 24 years old. That's old enough to like have had a kid and like raised it somewhat. Maybe Cities XL is the child that SimCity birthed and then ignored for a bit because it wasn't as good. Comparing the new SimCity game to its older counterparts definitely shows how far the game has progressed graphically and even in terms of gameplay as well. From the pixelated goodness of the original 1989 release, even through to the most recent before now, SimCity 4, the new SimCity definitely stands tall as the big graphic leader of the series, which is fair enough considering it's 2013. But can the new SimCity game stand up to the gameplay standards that have been set by its predecessors in the series? That's what I'm here to find out today. Sort of. One of the biggest elements of the SimCity series has always been that you have complete control over your city. You're the mayor, you can control how the city looks, how the city plays. However, the newest release in the series has taken some of these elements of control away from us, namely the terraforming tools and very small city limits. Instead, when you jump into the game, you'll be able to select from some pre-made regions with a set number of cities available within these regions. All of these cities contain a preset number of resources like oil, and ore and water, and this isn't something that can be changed before you jump into gameplay. The idea here is that you'll be able to run a number of cities that are feeding off of each other. For example, a tourist city built on a tile that doesn't have much in the ways of resources will be able to run by purchasing resources like water and even sewage treatments and things like that off of a neighbouring city. While you can certainly run all of these cities on your own, it does feel like Maxis were really aiming for the multiplayer experience here. I've been playing in regions on my own as well as with other people, and I've found that it's much easier to jump into a city that already has a region populated by other booming cities. This means that you're able to make use of their city hall departments, as well as services like police, fire departments, hospitals, even garbage collection and things like that, without having to sort of run yourself dry in terms of your bank account at the start of the city. The downside here is that you are forced to put up with any bad decisions that your fellow mayors have made, for example creating a butt ton of air pollution, or letting a criminal infestation slowly overtake their city and eventually pour into yours. City planning here definitely has some intricacies to it. While the game itself is much easier to pick up at the beginning, which definitely couldn't be said to some older titles in the series like SimCity 4, it can be really fussy about a few things. My biggest problem here was trying to balance out my residential, commercial and industrial zoning. That stupid smug sim with a little yellow building hat was always bugging me about building more residential areas, even when I'd completely filled up my map and had absolutely nowhere else to expand. There was nothing else I could do, but he still kept insisting that I needed more lower wealth residential and more medium wealth residential. So at that point, I'd go ahead and get rid of some commercial zones, rezone them to residential and think that all was well, until he was back complaining about the lack of commercial zoning. I give up. Something else the game isn't handling so well right now is the traffic AI. Although to their credit, Maxes are aware of this issue and are actively working on a fix towards it. This means that sometimes the most well laid out roads with a number of different alternate routes will still suffer from some major traffic issues, which means that all of your hard earned savings now need to be poured into creating a really intricate shuttle bus system or a streetcar system or something, which means that you may not be able to afford something more important like a single fire department for your city. Sorry burning business, but we really need these streetcars right now instead of that fire department. Surely you can understand. I think what I'm trying to convey here is that while the game is definitely fun, it does have a few big flaws right now that are definitely dampening how much fun I am able to have with the game right now. Despite these flaws though, I find that I'm constantly going back to SimCity and playing more and more. It is somewhat of a time sink where I'll start a city at 7pm and then suddenly it's midnight and I still haven't eaten dinner and I didn't realise where those 5 hours have gone. There is a lot of variety in the different kinds of cities that you can make here. Things like tourism, education, mining, or a number of other things are all open options for you. 
This means that while you may get bored of one city, if you've completely ruined it, it's gone bankrupt, and maybe you're sick of the mining kind of industry, you can focus on something different and that does give you something else to play towards. Despite how frustrated they may get with the AI or the constant zoning problems, I still find that I continue to play this game, which definitely says something about how fun it is. In spite of the flaws that I've mentioned so far, SimCity at its core is still a very fun game. It's still got that element of city building and you are still the mayor and get to run a city. It's still that time sinking game where you can just soak hours and hours and hours of gameplay into it. However, I'm finding that the more that I keep opening up the game, the shorter my playing sessions are becoming, which does make me wonder if maybe I'm getting tired of the gameplay experience, or if that's just because I have the attention span of a goldfish. <laughs> Look at that crazy cat. What are you doing, cat? Get out of the bathtub. You don't even like water. <laughs>